Hey guys, what is up? It is the Lost Story 45, and we are bringing you some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. What? Long time no see, eh, Black Ops? Uh, this is actually part of my 107 and 36 game, which is one of my, this is actually my second best Call of Duty game I've ever played. My first was an 101 game on shipment. I think I had a total of 26 deaths on shipment that time, and that was back on Call of Duty 4, in case you don't know. Uh, where shipment originated at. Um, so this game definitely made me happy. It was part of Nuketown 24/7. I will admit I was a bit stationary in the game. I took up a lot of lines of defenses, and I didn't really go charging as much as I should have. But hopefully, you guys look past that, and you won't call me a camper. If you want to call me a camper, I'm sorry. I respect your opinion. I disagree with it, but I respect your opinion. And, um, but. What I kind of want to talk about, guys, is what's going on, what to expect in the future, what's up, and what has been happening with Black Ops. First thing first, the future. Modern Warfare 3 is looking really possible because I like what they've done with the game. It's looking very, very non-Modern Warfare 2. The texture looks Modern Warfare 2, but the game game content looks to be a new Call of Duty and that is something that makes me boundlessly happy because if you look at it we've been playing around the same kill streaks, the same guns, the same things different name, different attachment the whole time we haven't really had any big changes we haven't had any things worth worrying over but now they've actually made it where so much has been improved it's a drastic overhaul of the game. I am glad Sledgehammer has done this. I highly am glad that they've done this. I really hated them for coming on the spot, and I kind of had a bias because I really liked the old Infinity Ward before Activision had that whole split up and everything. So I was kind of biased when I heard about them, but uh, they've redeemed themselves in my eyes for sure. Uh, I'm not going to talk about Modern Warfare 3. I haven't watched enough of it to fully grasp it. I've seen a little bit of the leak stuff, but I'm not gonna go and uh, ruin it for you guys if you guys don't want to hear about this. So look it up if you guys are really interested in it. There's videos by CNN or Sark and Hutch. They have some really good reviews on the game, and they really show you some of the stuff that's gonna be in there. Uh, you can also Google Modern Warfare 3 uh, kill streaks list. And it will give you a list of the perks and the kill streaks that were leaked slash gotten from Kadi XP. I'm calling it EXP because experiment, uh, experiment, experience, not a uh, XP or whatever XP was stand for. But secondly, future Minecraft videos. There's a whole let's clip. Got three videos up. Technically, it's not three. Technically, it's five. But I've got three parts of it up. So hopefully you guys who like Minecraft will be satisfied with that for a while. I'm going to be uploading more of it, but really busy at school. This week you can expect me to jam punk shit. The Pokemon one, I'm going to upload one per week. I was going to do one per day, but uh, I've got a lot of quali uh, a lot of content going on right now with the Minecraft. And it now with Call of Duty. Now that I can film again, I'll explain that in a second. But uh, So I'm hoping that between those two it will keep... Both sides of my fan base busy enough that the Pokemon can be once a week and you guys can enjoy it then. Um, I'm shooting for every Tuesday, I'm gonna say. Because I didn't upload one this week yet. So maybe I'll upload that tomorrow and then I'll make it every Thursday. But hopefully, I kinda messed up with the sound before. I'm gonna edit the sound a little bit so that the second layer is a tid bit lower and you can hear my voice better. And uh, let's just hope for the best on that. Oh. Uh, what else? What else? What else? The YouTube channel of mine, for some odd reason, it was promoted to 15 minute, uh, past 15 minute long videos. But for some odd reason, now it is not telling me I can anymore. It is rejecting 20 minute videos. So, I'm extremely sorry about that, guys. This was going to be a full one upload, but it turned into three uploads. So, you're looking for either three, no, two parts. It's going to be two parts. There's two parts of this. The first one will probably be the first. Uh, round in the middle, uh, up to the middle of the second round. Third will be the sec end of the second round and the beginning of the third. I mean, the completion of the third. So look for that. 
it'll be up. I can annotate it on the bottom of this video, so I can't use my fingers and point to it, but there should be an annotation right now or wherever, and it should link there if I have time to do that. I'm going to try and get an annotation system worked out for most of my videos. That's going to be worked on between me and, um, I'm actually going to have my sister help me and see if she can, uh, spend some of her free time annotating stuff. Because that'd be pretty cool. Uh, uh, thirdly, why haven't I posted any Call of Duty, any Halo, really any Xbox gameplay in the past month? No. Yeah, oh, it's been a month, I think, actually. Um, sorry about this lag right I didn't even know it lagged that bad when I recorded. I didn't say it did. Um, but, I had to reboot my computer, as I've said before in a video, and I lost Ubleed. So, that was what I was using to, re uh, not record, but, yeah, actually, it was what I was using to record. Yeah. I guess you could say it was what I was using to record. And since I lost it, I had this humongous time gap where I just had to give you guys some of the Halo 2 videos, which those don't expect anymore because I got to that part where I just can't do it anymore, guys. It is so hard for me. And I'm not sure why. I think it's just a matter of I'm not used to um, the Halo 2 system of guns and stuff. I'm used to the Halo 3 and Halo Reach, especially the Halo Reach. So, don't forget any more of that, but, uh, but now I have gone through seven different YouTube problems and seven different computer problems to finally get this thing called the Virtual Hub, and it will record, it, it does kind of mess up the XSync a bit, but I'm not too mad about that, and as I'm guessing right now, it's, in, right now it's not, but before it was lagging a bit, so it may have a few little bit of lag sperms for yeah that's awkward well that got really awkward fast um besides that guys uh there's the see this is the end of round one and now we're heading into round two uh i want to talk about your best game your best day your best situation your best anything and how it really defines you when you play, uh, I'm going to put this in my Call of Duty terms, when you play a game, you play it to be the best you can. You play it to excel, and you play it to show that you have skill, or at least have fun. You don't just play a game to sit there and die the whole time, unless you're doing it to be fun. It normally isn't that kind of a scenario. Normally you're doing it literally to try and do your best, because doing your best is something that lets you have fun. Now, with the Call of Duty franchise, it's been a long, long journey. If you look back to Call of Duty 2, then you look all the way forward to uh, Model Warfare 3 this year, it's had a long travel, and along the way it's picked up many hardcore, hardcore fans. There are so many commentators, so many MLG pros, so many video makers, that the game has taken a whole new level, and that's why it has become a best-selling franchise. With that said, people who play this game play it because they know the franchise and they know that eventually if they watch enough tutorials, they do enough practice, they will eventually become the best they can be at this game. Now I'm not saying all of us are going to become scene editors. I'm saying if you play it long enough and stick to the game, you can get gameplays like this. I mean, it's still not good because there's 36 deaths compared to like Pwn Star's 10 deaths for a 200 kill video or something but you know it doesn't matter because I got 107 which is the most kills I've gotten ever in Elasti but it was my second best gameplay because I've had one more before this but I got 101 kills so times like that when you get these gameplay videos you just want to sit there and just smile because you know you have done something that you can be extremely proud of. Something that a lot of other people can't do. And if you look at the end of this game's scoreboard, there were a lot of people on the new team who didn't have high scores. I and mean, not like saying that they had like low scores, but they didn't have high scores as my team did. 
and if you play normal games on maps that aren't Nuketown, you normally don't get these high scores. But when you do get a high score, you feel amazing that you've got this, and you just never want to let it go. And this can apply to any scenario in life. Like, let's say you are playing a baseball game, and you get a baseball game where you get five set strikes in baseball. No, it's five strikes in here. I've got the old ball game. Five home runs. I'm gonna say. I think that's it. Is that the home run? Yes, it is. Five home runs in one game. You would just feel so amazing because you managed to get five home runs. That's an amazing feat, and you should be extremely proud that you did this. You should never let anyone tell you otherwise. And that's why when you do your best at anything, it's a celebration to have, and you should enjoy it. And this doesn't necessarily have to apply to games. Let's say you do an essay, and you get the best grade you've ever gotten on that essay. You should be extremely happy for yourself, because you've proven that you can improve, that you have improved, and that you're not what you once were. And maybe it's not good to be, maybe you've gotten an F this time instead of an A, like you did before. That's not good, and I'm not going to say you should celebrate over that, but it shows you that there is room for improvement. But you still are the best you can be. Because we all can improve at all times. Seeing it probably could even improve his gameplay a bit. We all could. But when it comes down to it, the matter is, we are the best we can be still. Seeing Aaron is the best he can be at Call of Duty. He does the best he can. He gets amazing gameplays. Pwnstar gets amazing gameplays. Charter gets amazing gameplays. They're the best that they can be, but they can still improve. And that's what you should be happy about. Uh, just wanted to put a tidbit of meaningfulness in this video, so that's that. But we've got two minutes left in this gameplay. Uh, this part right here, if I had known the tidbit of what I know right now, I could have been better and I could have adjusted and killed that person because I know that that person right there wasn't responding fast and his shotgun was having a tidbit of lag with it. So I probably could hit fire and kill them. Cause I'm rather good with the hit fire on this gun in case you can't tell. Oh, uh, some channels I got want you guys to check out. Mix Squeakers, some numbers afterwards. I think it's like 503. But he makes uh, My Little Pony. Oh no, I'm a Brony. Icons for uh, Call of Duty. I use his Applejack emblem on my uh, personal account now, and he does amazing amazing emblem tutorials he is top uh top notch quality check him out i subscribed him so definitely check my subscription box and that will tell you uh his link and i've linked and favorited his uh apple deck video i'll put the uh channel name for him in the description and i'll put it in my sub box too probably because he's actually a really cool cool kind of guy and i'd love to kind of talk with him and get uh, his opinion on Call of Duty. Maybe even do a dual commentary with him. Uh, secondly, 1.8 in Minecraft. Expect a lot, lot, lot of more of those this weekend. Like I said before, I just want to remind you guys. Now, the game is... Well, not the game isn't, but this episode of the game is drawing to a close, and uh, just wanted to go out and say this part is probably going to be uploaded by midday tomorrow because it's probably going to take all night to render. And then I'll put it in the uh, upload area for tomorrow morning. But other than that, guys, have a nice day. Uh, be the best you can be. Be amazing. Have fun. You are amazing. And I will see you guys next video. Uh, remember, if you do me a favor, please to like, dislike, favorite, comment, subscribe. Anything you want to do, do it down below or up above. Maybe on the sides too, there's something on the sides you can do, I don't know. Uh, but I will see you guys then, and uh, pretty much that's it. Bye, gamers!